This help file is to discuss commentary and how to manage review and approval of that commentary. Uh, within each one of our modules you'll find an option where we can manage commentary and that means that uh, something that someone posts, you know I love this article, it is very helpful, may require some type of review and the rules over that as to what kind of information you want to require um, how they uh, register for that information um, is up to you. And what you're seeing here is that this, although this has been submitted, the post has not been submitted, or I'm sorry, the post has been submitted for review and it must be approved. So it won't be published until the comment is reviewed. Um, and each and every module has the ability to have these article or these uh, comments added to it as part of uh, the deliverable. So every single record that we see in the site has the option of collecting comments. Can, uh, additionally, we have the ability to uh, manage comments not on a per record basis like this, you know, love this event, count me in, I'll be there. Um, but we also have a community area where, where we can uh, manage that as well. We just input this needed information here. Okay, publish that comment. So again, that's going to go for review and see what happens. Um, hopefully they'll accept it and approve it. Uh, meanwhile, the that routed an email to the person in charge of comments that says the following is awaiting your thing. Um, here's, you know, I love this event, count me in, or I love this article, it's very helpful. So if I wanted to, I could literally write for my email, approve that comment. And uh, for that user approving it, they'd already be logged in, but that is automatically taking them to the approval so that they can approve that comment. Same thing with here, they can be prompted and as soon as they click on that, uh, I might say approve the comment. Yes, I'm approving it and off it goes. So the minute a comment is approved, uh, if I refresh this page, our comment should be published as it is right here. John Hunter posted on this time and date, hey, that he loves this event, count me in. So social media and commentary is very important. Of course, we can always integrate our users to discuss their things elsewhere. Uh, you know, go talk about it on Facebook or Twitter or whatever you want to do. But we believe that you want to really capture this opportunity because this is unique content. Uh, this helps your search engine optimization, helps build a community. So any one of these modules has the ability to have commentary added to it. Uh, let me explain how. We have uh, a feature that allows us when we're designing your module, maybe it's your blogs, maybe it's your articles, your events, whatever it is, we have the ability to put on every page this little script down here called comments. Somewhere down here is comments. Here it is right here, comments. And that's what allows us to invite people to provide comments. And the reason we do it that way is because there will be some types of content you don't want to invite commentary, other types you do want to invite commentary. And then of course you want to uh, manage the workflow so that someone is notified so that they can be in charge of reviewing all the incoming comments. Uh, that would be found, you know, the, the configuration for comments just go to your comments section in the client console, go to configuration and open up that record. So you could actually have different scenarios set up. You might have Jane reviewing uh, comments from this channel, Bill reviewing uh, comments from another channel. So it doesn't have to be one person. You could have multiple reviewers, uh, you know, reviewing different comments that are incoming from different areas. Um, the uh, comments things, we have a lot of features. We might want to display CAPTCHA for security. Uh, we might want to enable member comments uh, or enable anonymous comments. What we just posted, by the way, was an anonymous comment. Uh, is the name required? Yes or no. Is the email required? Yes or no. So actually my name and email wasn't required when I submitted it. And here's who we sent it to. We sent it to this particular email address uh, right here at Oxion Test. That was the email we were checking right there. And uh, that way they got an email. We also, you know, it, it was sent from CenterPoint at Oxion. You know, so here we have CenterPoint at Oxion right there. So that way you can f uh, flag all of your incoming Outlook emails if you want to review them later. And uh, here's our subject line. A comment has been submitted for your review. So that someone can Im immediately recognize any comment coming into their inbox. They know what it is. They can respond to it. Uh, we can also, if we want to track the thread 
Uh, so if this is subject to multiple approvers or we want to see what's going on, we can even stylize that entire thread. So this is the configuration for all the comments in the site. We asked you to kind of step back and ask yourself where comments would be appropriate. I think another uh, area to consider comments is, of course, in the blogs area. And in the blogs area, this is a module suite. It's a little bit different than just comments. This is where we have some speaker. And this is someone who has a bio and a, they've been invited to maybe write articles on your site because they're a thought leader. And these are the three articles that Martha has written. And uh, for each one of these, of course, we can again post our comments and see what we want to do. Now, again, we're showing you these features based on public users. Uh, for anyone who's, who's logged in privately, they may have the ability to post directly to those sites. I'm not sure whether this one does, but we'll give it a try. So this uh, article right here, I might say, you know, love this article. I might also want to rate how useful that article was. Very important feature there, rating. And uh, let's see if we allow it here. No, that also required approval. So that would have been routed to uh, the right person, you know, to, to have it approved. So here it is right here. Um, <clears throat> gonna approve that. So we'll approve all of the different comments that have been made. Yes, approved. Absolutely. Yeah, so we just approved that. We'll go back to our site. We'll refresh that and we know. So you'll notice we didn't have to put in our name and information. Uh, let me just go back to make sure that this is approved. Yes, it is approved. Uh, this map from North. Oh, I see. That's not a different one there. Let me see. Uh, all modules. And let's check this one right here. Okay, this is the Pope Francis one. Forgive me. I approved the wrong one because I had made two comments. Um, here we have uh, on reload, we see that John has posted, love this article, on September 25th. So the beauty about our single sign-on is that we know who everybody is and we know what they're posting. Uh, if we wanted to change the rules over that configuration, we could do that. We might say, uh, in the case of members... Do, uh, do we want to uh, require any kind of um, uh, confirmation? And we might say, uh, no, you know, we, they're free to post as we want to. So for people that you trust, you might not need to post anything. You might not need to scrutinize every single thing that's posted. Uh, we're here, I might say, you know, hello there, uh, how are you? And of course, we can now immediately publish that to the site, hello there you know, by John. So that's normally what we see in a private environment because we don't want to make it cumbersome for users to uh, post their thoughts and comments. Yet, we might need to set up different rules for uh, different people. You know, if they're uh, not employees or they're, you know, onboarding or something like that, it might be a privilege only for those who have the uh, rights to do so. So again, just to recap, comments can, you know, cover all records in the site. By the way, we have a module here that allows you to search all comments throughout the site. So I might want to say everywhere where we see the word love, you know, oh, looks like uh, this might be uh, just a minute, love. That's any keyword on any of the fields. So I might say, uh, you know, search those. Okay, there's all the love. So you can be very finite. You might say, show me all the comments from our group in China. Show me all the group comments from our group in Hong Kong. Uh, and again, that is as it relates to any of these records here. Comments also relate to the blogs and blogs kind of operate like this. Here is our blogger that we saw earlier, Martha Stewart. And Martha Stewart uh, has an account. So she might be reviewing comments individually that people send to her. Uh, for example, her article on Healthy Hearts may have had a comment posted by John it may have routed to Martha Stewart for approval. So we can set up different roles in the blogger area because it might be, uh, you know, uh, they become the author of their own corner or their own ecosystem rather than, you know, just reviewing all these comments. Uh, so that's it for comments. If you have any questions, please contact uh, your analyst or production manager. Thank you.